Mr. Speaker. I sat in the Honorable House yesterday and listened to the member for Castries East, leader of the opposition, responding to a statement made by the Honorable Prime Minister regarding his attendance at the NIMAC meeting, National Emergency Management Advisory Committee, and that he sent persons or an individual who is more capable, who knows more about NIMAC to represent him, Mr. Speaker. And I was so confused, Mr. Speaker. I couldn't believe what I was, I was hearing. Because as far as I know, Mr. Speaker, NIMAC is chaired by the Honorable Prime Minister. It falls under the Minister responsible for disaster, NIMO, which is always in St. Lucia under the office of the Honorable Prime Minister, whichever Prime Minister or whichever party is in government. And to have, Mr. Speaker, a member of parliament, 25 years in this Honorable House, three terms, three terms as a government minister, deputy prime minister for so many years, and a member who's aspiring to be prime minister, Mr. Speaker, we are in a medical economic crisis, COVID, and you're sending a little soldier with no rank <laughs> in a meeting to represent you? Of generals? Of generals? And this is, this is the man, this is the member who is selling himself to the public as a prime minister in waiting. Come on, Mr. Speaker. So if you are prime minister and St. Lucia is facing a crisis, whether it is natural disaster or COVID as we are experiencing today, you would have taken a leave of absence. You would have taken a leave of absence. That is what you're telling the nation. That is the message you sent to St. Lucians yesterday. And if the honorable members on the opposite side were for the people of St. Lucia, today the member for Cashwell's East would have been sitting on another chair, Mr. Speaker. Because from last night, they should have taken a vote of no confidence in his leadership. They should have, Mr. Speaker. You cannot send a non-ranking soldier to a meeting with generals to plan your strategies on the battlefield against COVID. Come on, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I commend the member for Castries East for being frank, for being honest with the people of St. Lucia, that he does not have the qualifications, he does not have the prerequisites to be Prime Minister, and that the Labour Party and the people of St. Lucia should look at alternatives, Mr. Speaker.